why you've reached Bullard Plumbing. Please leave a message and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. The phones were off, the schedule was working well, everything was going fine until Brycey started to play up. Ow! Ow! Bring me a back sweetie. Really. Brycey started to push Rylan around and he just wouldn't stop. Brace, brace, stop. Jen, a first warning. Stop. First if warning. If I have to ask you again, you'll go to the naughty mat. He didn't stop pushing his little brother around, so he got sent to the naughty mat. I'm not going to have you act like this. Stop. Stop. Walk to the mat right now. Mom! Change your tone. And he did not like it. He started shouting and yelling at the top of his voice. If you don't put your foot down now and you don't show him authority, don't, don't look at him. Don't look at him and don't give him dirty looks. I'm going to be adult here and you're in charge, OK? All right? Just ignore him shouting and you just do your thing Continue. with Rylan. Yeah, and after six minutes, okay. then you go over to him, OK? OK. Jen stuck out the six minutes and she went and told him, you know, I want an apology. I will listen to you, but I want you to calmly tell me what you have to say. Give me a hug. No. no I no, want no, you no, to no, say no. you're sorry. This is, this is what we do. This is what we do. You didn't listen to Mummy, so Mummy would like an apology for that behaviour. You get the apology, he comes off the mat, OK? And I'm saying this quite clearly in front of you, Bryce, so you know why? Because you're a smart, intelligent boy and I know that you know better. But you do need to listen to Mummy. Bryce is realising that when he behaves in a way that's unacceptable, there is a consequence for it. Come here. Come here. OK. Later on, Jen got a phone call from Bryce. Hello. Where are you? No, I, I've been trying to get a hold of you, Bryce, and you haven't been answering your phones. OK. All right, bye. So what's going on? I just got off the phone with Bryce. I could tell he was agitated with me because I had the phone off. He doesn't know how to separate work and family. To him, it's all, it's all one. Hello. There's Daddy. Hey, what's up? Daddy, Daddy will come here. What's up? Tonight, Jen started to tell Bryce exactly how she was feeling. I just want you to understand that the schedule is important to me. I like it, and it's working for me so far. And it just, it's just going to be hard to get used to, you know? Just know that you can get a hold of me at those times and... Yeah, but it doesn't work that way. It does. It can wait. People aren't going to die. It's plumbing. I don't like the phones being off. It's a sacrifice for the better, I think. But still, it's going to be tough. It's exhausting. <laughs> it's horrible. Hey. <laughs> no! You're six years old. Stop. Bryce, no! just settle down. <laughs> Bedtime with Rylan. <laughs> It's pretty frustrating.